Hey everyone! Today, we're going full on hobo mode. I just woke up, I have my tea, where the fuck is my tea? I have my tea, and I was like, you know what? I'm still working on a video, I'm actually working and on a metal video and on a gaming video at the same time. Like I said, I want to try to balance that shit out again. And I was just waking up with my tea and I was looking at Terminator Juice's Rocket League video. Dang it! Ah, oh, fuck! I couldn't jump soon enough. Get it? Ah! Oh. Shit! Get in there! God damn! God damn it! Get! God damn it! Damn it. Epic match. I feel like they had the momentum. God damn it! Son of a bitch! Keep that in. Try to take out the goalie. Nice. And I was like, fuck man, I am so fucking ready to play Rocket League again. But you need Nintendo Online for that. I met somebody. We're playing a lot of Splatoon. I need Nintendo Online for that. So now I'm like, okay, whatever, you know. 20 bucks is not a lot to pay for Nintendo Online per year. But man, right now, 20 bucks is a lot to pay for Nintendo Online per year. Here's the thing, I'm currently going through a breakup, some of you know, I've been rearranging my shelves already because all of the shit from my ex is gone, half of the shit from my ex is gone, still packing boxes and that kind of shit, and I've been rearranging my shit, I'm happy, I'm feeling good, but this month and next month, financially, it's tight. So yeah, in that case already, 20 bucks is a lot of money, like I'm not gonna fucking kidding around, like uh, I got one week left before my new pay is here. So getting through this one week is already like not gonna be easy. So if at any rate like it's gonna be like a week or two before I can actually get the Nintendo online. If I'm willing to actually drop that money by then already and not wait another two months before I'm a lot more financially secure. Either way. People, yeah, just 20 bucks, 20 bucks doesn't matter, you pay online, you play video games. It's true. It's not expensive. For me right now, it's still a lot of money. But even all of that aside, I was playing the Splatfest last weekend for Splatoon. Team Retro versus Team Modern. Of course I'm Team Retro. Half the matches I'm playing against other Retro players. This is not uncommon during a Splatfest. Sometimes, you know, if one choice is so far num out numbers and not choice so far then yeah you're gonna be playing your own team a lot and the other half of the night was divided between normal matches and disconnects so I'm already like disconnected a quarter of the time I have some nice matches and then half the time I'm playing my own team what's the problem here now retro lost the popular vote 30 to 70 percent I was in a minority, why the fuck am I playing my own team? This makes no goddamn fucking sense. It doesn't make any sense if the retro choice has been chosen only by 30, I don't even understand why it was that low, but okay, sure, 30% of people only chose retro. So that means 70% of all the fucking goddamn players of Splatoon online were modern. Why am I playing other retro players? Half my fucking matches. Financially, it's not doing that good. I gotta rebuild that. It'll be okay. 20 bucks is a lot. Right now, to spend on this online just to play two games, I'll wait, you know. I'll just play some more Mario Kart, whatever. On the Wii U, which I actually have been doing on my Wii U Mario Kart. But 20 bucks is even more money 
Wendy Online is absolute fucking shit. I don't care about messaging systems, voice chat, all that bullshit. I would have liked an achievement system, something Nintendo promised. An achievement system linked to physical rewards, that was going to be like the next fucking evolution of like current gen gaming, whatever. I like achievements. I like it when I play a game and I'm done with the game and I'm like, I don't want to leave the game world, but there's not really anything to do. But all of a sudden, it's, uh, you got like little side missions, like defeat five of these enemies without your fucking clothes on and shit like that, you know? I like that stuff. Or like go through this area without losing a single life or beat this level in a specific time limit, you know? I like those challenges. It enhances the gameplay experience for me. I get more out of it. And I like getting those little achievements and shit. I like doing it on Steam. I like doing it on uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, all that kind of stuff. I like achievements. I like trophies. I like that stuff. So I would have liked that on a Nintendo system, but I don't need it. But if I pay 20% for a bare bone, 20 dollars, 20 dollars, 20 euros actually, for a bare bone online system, that is worse, worse than the goddamn fucking, where, where's my 3DS? The new, fuck. Then the fucking, where the fuck is my 3DS? For a system that is worse. Worse, much worse than what the 3DS offered like five years ago, you know. The 3DS, like, it has like, I fucking love this system, you know. It has like themes and fucking songs. Like, I love it when I put my 3DS on, that it's personalized, that I get like goddamn cool music and themes to the shit I choose. That makes me happy. That is the kind of stuff I was expecting for Switch Online and something as fucking goddamn basic as that should not be taking this long. But even without all of that, without my achievement system, without themes and music, without people's voice chat or messaging systems, even without all of that, the online just doesn't fucking work. They didn't improve anything, and in fact, with Splatoon improved me, it's even worse! But you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. If you want to keep playing with your friends, if you want to keep playing with people, if you want to benefit from specific online things, like, I don't care about the cloud save, I don't care about the- Look at my fucking collection! Behind these amiibos are like walls of goddamn NES games. I have NES games over here, NES games over there, I don't fuck. I have NES games on my fucking 3DS, I have NES games on my goddamn Wii, I have NES games on my goddamn Wii U, I have some of these games like five fucking goddamn times, I don't need this fucking NES library, this which is just absolute bullshit already, like what, anyway. But the online just isn't good. I don't care what anybody says, fucking motherfuckers over there online are fucking flip flopping, because they used to hate on the Wii U. The Wii U is trash online, it was absolute garbage, I can't play fucking Smash with us, need a messaging system, this and that. The Switch is great. The Switch is perfect. Everything is good now, we're gonna get a new Smash Brothers. The Switch is good, oh no, no, this is a messaging system, I know, the Switch online is good. I want you to tell me. What is so great about it? Make me a bullet list. I can make you a bullet list. With my 3DS. That will be at least 10 times better than what you can offer for the Switch because the Switch offers nothing. As a matter of fact, like I said about Splatoon, it's garbage. It's garbage. I'm getting disconnected half the time. I'm playing my own team even though we were far in the minority. It's unstable as hell. It doesn't have any... You don't even need bells and whistles. Give me a rope to hang a bell on something. It has nothing. And anybody Anybody who claims the Switch is even borderline goddamn decent to a state of 5% of what the Wii U was, you're fucking lying, you're a fucking fraud, and I hate that shit. 20 bucks is a lot of money for garbage. It's a lot of money for garbage. It's already a lot of money when you have to survive getting past the end of the month because of a fucking transition, you know? But if you're getting... If you're living at the end of the month, that's a fucking transition of anything. If you have a tough end of the month, you know, whatever. And 20 bucks is a lot of money, especially to pay for rotten food. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Stay real.
God damn it.